See? Let's go. Headed to Alaska. <laughs> He's got his guns. Ty is unpacking at the airport. Now I look, now I look a little bit more. Shane's uh, 300 pound bag over there that's supposed to weigh 50. <laughs> Alright boys, got that pretty little bird back behind you. making our last stand before we head out to the wilderness and uh, ooh, crispy cream donuts. Mm. Baby, the moose graveyard. Let's go. This is a big day. We have arrived. This is my trip out. Joe will be the pilot on my adventure. Doug will be taking the black boy over there. And he's probably gonna take you or Zach. Hoping that we'll see some massive moose out there. We're gonna come have the time of our life. Some awesome moose. This is gear on top of gear. All right, Z, let's do it, buddy. All right, you guys. Team is taking off. See Wade's inside of there. We'll watch. We'll do a little video of him taking off. It'll be sweet. Ty coming in for the landing. We have officially landed. Eagles landed. Boys have already set up a tent and I am fired up. It's gonna be amazing. It's a little cold, so I'm uh, putting my gear on. We saw two moose and a black bear flying in. Let's go. We are in what's called Moose Ridge. Probably about a, I don't know, 25, 30 minute flight over across the inlet. First day of shooting, September 14th. I'm in a tree stand, about 25 feet off the ground. Got an amazing view up here. It's the only way to see anything here. I'm gonna glass this for a couple hours. Just barely getting light. Had about two or three hours of solid rain last night, which was awesome because we didn't have any water and now we do. So love the rain at the right time. All right, here we are. Trying to get to this tree over here so we can climb it and get a good vantage point. But it is so thick. It's not sure if it's worth getting over there. So we're gonna try these ridges and see if they give us a decent vantage point. Welcome to Alaska. All right. Hanging up in a tree stand here. Kinda of crazy. Someone made it for us, so here we go. Scoping out for the moose. Let's find them. All right, we got the boys making a new tree stand. Z Wade and Dad hanging out over there. All right, we got our first.
first bear scat. Right by our camp, right by camp, right by our camp. Just right over there. Alright guys, up in my tree. Just hanging out. Here's our view. Bushes. So now we're gonna go walk. There's a ridge over here, and so we're gonna go see if we can spot anything. What's happening? Where's the moose? The moose is that direction, and our tree is there. <laughs> To be able to spot the moose, that's what we need right there. And our camp is right over there. So uh, we got we got a little distracted. Came across this river and realized there were salmon coming up it. And we got fishing licenses, so we caught one. We got salmon for dinner tonight. There she is, baby. Silver salmon. Freaking go <laughs> salmon for dinner. Juicy fish. Zach, Zach nice got, to eat. <laughs> Zach got hungry. <laughs> Smeagol over here. <laughs> There's still actually a lot of meat on there to be honest. We can get some more off. It's pretty good actually. Ty and I just caught a salmon right at the river bottom Can right we there. Use your knife, yeah. We're now getting it all prepped because there's lots of bears around here who would be hungry but we're prepping it for tonight taking it home with us shane the kitchen guy with all the skills it's a very beautiful day today it's been a long day Boys and girls. Day one of hunting, eventful day with lots of walking. Spot a bear. Zach spotted the bear. He did. I and then Shane spotted the moose. Ty just spent his time outside enjoying the weather. Enjoyed enjoyed being, you know, you know. Just, just here for the ride. We got a good like grasp of I think our area today. <sighs> kind of where we were dropped off. We do know there's a moose somewhere, uh, somewhere moves. over that direction. Yeah, Two of them, one there, laps. and one somewhere over that way. Oh, the fun, funnest thing that happened today is, dude, we were walking around this awesome river, like, kind of came out of nowhere, it was so pretty. We were looking at it, Dad's like, it would be cool if there was a salmon of it in this. Right then, salmon's in the river, and it's a really small river creek, it's more like a little creek. So, anyways, 
big enough river we couldn't cross it. Long, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. It was, it was a decent sized river. So we ended up uh, going downstream, mm -hmm. taking our paddle, kind of figuring out where they were coming. Zach Wade got into his prime location, waited in ambush for that poor salmon to crawl up the stream, and whacked him on the head. But he lost his eye. Lost his eyeball, and frankly, lost his life. <laughs> and so we... Uh, he didn't lose it, he sacrificed. He sacrificed his life. He was gonna die anyways. I really don't feel bad killing these salmon, because they're gonna die here in a few, probably in a week. And why would that be? Ty, tell him why. I'm no, I'm no <laughs> salmon expert. <laughs> I was told this today, so I'm basing this off of whatever people... Shane, tell us why yeah. over there. Well, salmon have a life cycle of about three to five years, and those salmon were born <coughs> in that river. They swim out of that river, they go to the ocean for three to five years, and then it's time for them to have more babies, and they have to go right back to where they were born, up the same exact river. And so those fish go up the river, they spawn, and then they... Their bodies decay, their skin falls off, and they die. So, uh, thank you for that. That's the life cycle gruesome, of salmon. Gruesome story. It sucks to be so, salmon. It, it was. Oh. They sucked for them, but blessing for us. It was a blessing. It truly was a blessing. It was probably honestly no question the high of the day, and will be a high of the trip for me. It's for it sure. Some good dinner too. Oh yeah, and we, oh, ate, we it. ate it. We, we gutted it, cleaned it, had some. We hope that we don't attract any bears because we salmon for dinner. Definitely uh, didn't clean up very well, but what do you mean? Oh, we did well. everything we could. <laughs> we, what, we literally we got literally it there, filleted, filleted the fish in the field. <laughs> we were throwing bones into a Ziploc bag. What more would you want to do? Best. I think we did a pretty dang good job. I definitely think we are going a little overkill, but that's okay. It's better be overkill than underkill when it comes to cleaning. Clean. Be killed. All right, that ends the session of uh, the oh, hunt. Long session, but yeah, that was today's. And thank uh, you. We will wake up tomorrow morning, do it again. Yep. This time, I really, my goal was by day three. Well, my goal was day one to have a moose. That already didn't happen. But now it's like day three, the moose. Gotta have a moose. Mm hmm. Because I already know we're gonna need a day of like rest so that we can get the second moose. If we don't, if we wait till the very end to get a moose, it's gonna be hard to get two moose. So. Yep. Gotta get a moose in the next two days. Alright. Signing off. Here we are, day two. I made it to our new area. Got this. The moose kills on. Did you lead us astray? That's not the path, Tyler. <laughs> Alright. Playing kings in the corner here. Can this is a very rain. rough round. Oh, fun. tell us about this morning. Dude, epic morning. We woke up late. A little late. Thanks, Thanks to, to Matt, Shane. Matt Wade woke us up. Yeah, Shane's Shane definitely slept, slept in today. And, oh, How do you feel about that, Shane? Yeah, I felt really good this morning about sleeping <laughs> in. I needed it. I'll be honest. I think that intentionally slept in because. I bet you money you woke up and you're like, I'm not waking these guys up. No, Luckily, I, I woke up and I, I was like, we got to go find these moose. <laughs> That's rare. Well, anyways, we get out. Zachary climbs to his epic tree over here in the corner. That we I love that tree. And we hear this. Ah. Wait, you, I, think, I think you should do it. I think no, it's... no. Ah. <laughs> it was good. So we hear, ah. Essentially, we hear a cow. <laughs> and it's up in the tree. And yeah. we knew. And that was our signal. If he sees a moose, he does. Ah. If he sees a bear, he goes. <laughs> and what did we I heard, see? We heard the raw. And we looked up on the hill and we saw two massive moose. I mean, these moose three. are on There were three. Yeah, we saw three I saw two. One. Zach Wade saw three. Three. I didn't see that. And then uh, it started pouring and we all called it quits. Yep. Literally been in this tent. Since, since day what, minute, since 7 a.m. And it's now 5 o'clock. We took like a two-hour break to go see those moose. It's and actually out. 6 o'clock. We've now played how many games? A lot of games. We didn't play that many games, to we, be honest. We took Tyler, a fat nap. Tyler cooked some chili for us, and then we spilled it all <laughs> over the ground. No, 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 no. Tyler cooked hot chocolate first for everybody. Got it all mixed up and ready. Moved the table to have it poured all over his hand. <laughs> he burned his hand. And the boiling water that he just boiled for the chili. Do it all over again. Get the chili cooked up to then have it. Our chili wasn't cooked. Our it was chili cold. was still cold. So still Zach cold. Wade said, put it in the Ziploc bag and put it back in the... Uh, Which was a very smart cooker. decision. We d didn't disagree. 
<laughs> and a couple minutes later, when we pulled the chili out, the bag had melted. The bag was and no all the chili was in about four cups of water. So we improvised. You we sent Zach to, to dump we the water. Zach to fix it. We came, back. came back with chili. He went out, dumped the water out, and then all the chili fell out onto the ground. And so we picked it all up, put it back in the container, didn't tell us. And then we ate it. And it was nutritious. And it was awful. It was awesome. So, the best meal you've ever had all, all thank you, year. Zach and Tyler for lunch today. We're signing off. The good Anybody news else is that the to... forecast is for rain, 100% rain for the next 24 hours. So we're, we're going to be here a minute. Be in here tomorrow. All right. <laughs> we have yet to uh, really move today, and we're, we're still playing the Monopoly. Monopoly Dill. Dad has literally mopped the floor. Well, okay, not Dad literally, because this floor is pretty gross, but. <laughs> All right, Z. Day three, and it's raining out. Why is it raining? Because God decided for the water to come down yeah, okay. while we were out here looking for moose. You can kind of get a little glimpse out there. It is windy and wet. Oh, windy, wet. For the last like three hours, at least. For a while. And it's gonna be like that most of the day. And so we're really enjoying this. We are enjoying it. We got his spot. We got uh, bark furnace going on that we can chew on. Bark thins. Dad's spot. We got uh, Shane to tell us all the jokes. Dad's telling us all the jokes. So Ty and Shane decided to eat a poison berry. We're heading now. Show me we're that poison really, berry. There. We're really not sure if they'll survive the night. If they don't. It's very, it very be, bad. It's very, it's very, very bad. But this is a documentary of what berry they ate. And uh, now we know why. And the next video will be me <laughs> on my way home while I leave these guys here due to the very, very, very bad decision. Yeah. All right. It's working on our little uh, tent shelter area for food. Here in the rain, that's where we camp. This is our little campsite. That's our uh, tree. And yeah, it's a uh, Alright, it's a bit freezing cold. It's been raining. And we're still waiting for the rain to let up. We're making breakfast. What day are we on? Day three? Four, yeah. Day four. Alrighty, just hanging out here. When did you say, why, Tyler, are you here? It is for that purpose right there. That friend is where business is happening, even though it's freezing. So, uh, let's do it. All right, good morning, day five. Sex over there in that tree with Dad. Pretty stress on this. Last.
He's still walking. Dad, what did we get? Moose number one. Moose number Alaska. one. Right there, we got three brow tines. Which three means it's 100% legal, no stress. Probably close to 52 inches. Yep, it's right around 50 inches. Those back ones make it 50. I go here. Dude, you go up there. You go there to there. Dude, it might be 55. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Oh. Look how it goes out there. It's, 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 a, it's a definite beast. And he's stuck in here. this little swamp here. Only trouble is, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> It'll be dark in an hour. Yep. Grizzly Bear Alley right here. Yep. Bear oh, Alley. Alright, good morning. It's day six, Monday. We uh, bagged our moose last night. Got home about one, one in the morning. It was a rough night and we didn't even pack the moose out. We just quartered it and bagged it. Today we're going to have to bring it back. But before we do that, we're going to have some delicious... Actually, I think this is tenderloin. So I'm going to cook that up with some eggs. Get some energy so we can handle this crazy haul out that we have ahead of us. Good times. All right, we got the pieces of the moose, the mison, the bison. We're gonna, money. we're gonna put it on these pack frames and haul it off. We're eating all this tonight. Yeah, we're gonna need to because we're gonna be tired after this. All right, the boys are off with the first lo first load. We gotta go out there, and around. We're past those pine trees over there. They're carrying about 100 pounds each. That's real men right there. Shane, what are we cooking? We are cooking up some mm. delicious tenderloins from our moose we killed yesterday. We hauled in half of it today. You put your hand through like the wrong thing and I was dying laughing and I couldn't tell you. Move your hand out <laughs> and you kept trying to put it in. We got it. We got it. Yeah. We got it. All right, we use an opus knife here. Finish cleaning up the moose. Thanks, Opa. Thank you, Opa. He's jabbing into my side back there. Oh gosh. Alright, Dad, you go first. Ha, 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 ha. 
That looks so good. Fifty yards in the tree. I looked at him and I said, "You are the biggest black bear. I'm gonna go get you." <laughs> so I left all my stuff at camp, thinking I can't get there fast enough because I only had thirty minutes. Yeah, and I had to book it. So there a, another eventful evening. We took a black bear, and Tyler is cooking us up some back straps with the delicious bear fat. Shane. Good morning. This is the game. <laughs> it's raining outside. 24 hours. Out. We were surrounded by wolves. Industry. Used to used to have bears surrounding us. <laughs> They're no longer no surrounding. No longer bears surrounding our, our area. And uh, this is our crib. So this is just a good view of, of how we're living right now. You can see the right side is clean. We won't show you the left side, but clothing. Our sock drawers, our sock drawers up there, because you know, the stinkiness rises, and so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're very tired. You're, you're great for two weeks, you? Shane's out here cleaning the moose head. It's the first moose. It's, yeah. it's a good size, 55 inch. Yeah. Alaska bull moose. Okay. And decided we're gonna go ahead and European mount this thing. And uh, the memory of the experience we had in Alaska in 2023. In order to do that, you gotta take the cape off of the head. Pilot won't be able to put it on the plane because the moose is too big. The head's too big. He actually straps it right onto the wing of the airplane. Okay. So in order to do that, you got to get rid of all this material. So we're gonna kind of work at this. It's gonna take about five or six minutes. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, uh, what happened? Well, sometimes these Avalon blades break. But let me show you. I, gotta, I could either I could either pop it out with my finger, but it's a little dangerous. Usually, you should use a pair of pliers. Okay. I like to use the Havilon tool, and you do, you gotta find the shape of the knife, you get it in there, and you snap this down, and you're able to pull the blade out, see that? So here's the blade, after it's taken out, that's the broken part of the blade. Okay. So I'm gonna set that here, I'll dispose of it later. Here's the new blade. They're, they come in these handy, very secure aluminum wrappers. And I may need to take my gloves off here. When you're working hard, you're hardly working. Feels like you're in Florida. <laughs> so here's the blade. It's a pretty simple project. You just kind of—I mean, I'll, I'll even show you how to. You could either do it by hand if you don't have the tool. Really, what you do is you just kind of slide this in there like that, and then you push your thumb here on something hard like this antler, and you push forward, and it locks right in. That's or amazing. Can, or you can use this this device that comes with it, but not everyone's gonna have one of these in the field, so yeah. you gotta be prepared to go both ways. Yeah. So it's a Havilon, it works really well. I think we're good now. Okay, here we go. I'll let you take the eyeballs out. I'm good. <laughs> Today, really bad. 
Today would be a great day to get a moose because tomorrow will be kind of hard. I'm gonna go climb that tree right there. The brown bear is right there. picking berries. This is where they show. Makes sense. So what are we doing today, boys? We're going we're, on a berry hunt. We're berry, berry. We're doing berry berry hunts. Let's take a look at those. Yeah. Wow. Moose are being a little... All this red is berries and we're picking it. These boys feel very, very good. The last hurrah. We're going up to the trees, and what are we doing? Chacos. With his chacos, Tivas, excuse him. Gotta know what the name is. And it's a, it's a beautiful night out here, peace and quiet. We're gonna go shoot a coyote. The last breakfast before the boys depart, and we get to eat oatmeal with blueberries that we picked ourselves the other day. We battled the bears for berries. It was a very bloody battle. Right, Shane? Let's see. Mm. It was very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this will be on a commercial. <laughs> you guys, it's been great. What do you have to say to us, Ty? It's been fun. It's been real. It's actually been real fun. We've now officially lost our minds out here. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, here's the thing. Next time we do this hunt, I've already decided we're doing the river. Where it's gonna be colder. Oh, it will be colder, but it'll also allow us to move, move around. All right, the last one to go. Get to cherish this moment, enjoy it by myself. Just me here in the Alaskan wilderness. I definitely could use a shower. It's been at least 11 days since I've had a shower and I feel like it, I stink, but it's been fun. So everybody, checking out. This is an Arby's after, after the hunt, Arby's run. After the hunt. I did leave the video camera and look. We are uh, deserving of a quality meal after today. Yes, an Arby's Nobody meal. Nobody has eaten yet. Well, we did have an oatmeal this morning with blueberries. So. That was good. Dude, that was mud. The, that was really good. Next on to the next adventure. We never stop with our, uh, nope. our adventures. Our adventures never stop. I would be so grateful to have a, a week of nothing. So grateful. It's not even a week of nothing. It's just going to be a week of not this. We'll be back. I'll get the bear, the bird out, and then you know. No rush.